All right, good morning and welcome back. It is 618 on April 1 and we are ready to plant some corn. So we got the uh, tractor in the shed here with the um, planter already hooked to it. Ready to go, we got all our maintenance done. And it's, it, it's time to get going. We're gonna get it fired up. Planter's completely full. And we're good to go. So that's first thing on our agenda today is plant, 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 and plant some more. We have three cornfields to get planted today, and then hopefully, if we get time, we have a grass field that needs planted as well. And then we're gonna get the beans in. I guess May. Get this fired up here. Drop it down. And away we go. Make sure we get over as far as we can here. And this should be pretty well straightforward couple episodes is just uh, getting everything planted here. We don't have anything really else to do until planning's done. Um, so we're gonna put, like I said before, our two our two fields here at the farm, uh, the little one that's part of the cattle farm, and this one, the ones that we had in beans last season, are gonna be corn. And then I decided that our new field up on the hill is gonna be corn as well. Our big field will get planted in May with uh, soybeans. We're not doing anything with that grass field until it's time to plant wheat, which I believe is August. So we'll get a couple cuttings of grass off of that before we before we have to tear that up and go. So I don't think that uh, until until the corn's in the ground there's nothing that needs fertilized well our grass field needs fertilized but I'm hoping once uh, once we get the corn in all three fields planted and our grass meadow planted that we can just go through and fertilize everything all at one time and be done so we'll just kind of have to see how it goes but we're gonna have a nice long day of corn plant today so I'm going to uh, kick the radio on and try to knock this out
All right, so I going back in here to top off once again before I head to the other fields, but I don't know if you guys noticed it. I didn't notice it until um, <clears throat> until I filled up the first time, but our first our first whole uh, time before we ran out of seed there, we were not getting fertilizer down, apparently. And I don't know if a line was choked up or or what happened, but not until we uh, not until we restarted the second time did we uh, do we start putting the correct value of fertilizer down. Say so I, I don't know if maybe a a line somewhere was choked up or what. So like I'll zip through the field here real quick. Everything up here. So everything up here is still uh, pretty bad on nitrogen, and we're gonna have to, we're definitely gonna have to put fertilizer down, which I assumed we would anyway. But once we filled, we refilled the uh, the seed, then we get down into here, where we started back up, and it's perfect. So. I don't know what happened with our first round with our first round of planning so we might not need a whole lot of nitrogen through this main section of the field here we might just have to hit the outskirts but it was just kind of weird I'm, I'm not really sure what happened but that's something that uh, now that we know it does it we can pay attention to tell you what um, I'm gonna go hit the big field first. We can pay attention to it now that we know what's going on and make sure that we're keeping an eye on how much nitrogen we're putting down. This might be a little dangerous here. We gotta really hope for no cars coming. I mean, we can always duck into the cornfield here, but. Ah, yeah, we're gonna be fine. No cars coming. We got we actually got lucky with with vehicle traffic for once, but we still gotta get all this grass planted. I'm just gonna start here, I think. Get the planter fired up, drop it back down, and we're gonna need to pay attention and make sure does look like we're putting the correct amount of fertilizer in now. Yeah, so we're good now. We won't even have to fertilize these fields, which will be nice. So, that was a little a little weird, but at least we know that we uh, have to pay attention to it so we can catch it ahead of time now instead of finding out later on. I just thought maybe with this planter that it didn't put it didn't put as much uh, fertilizer down. That's kind of all I was thinking. I wasn't I wasn't thinking there was an issue. But this planter is uh, it's a little older. It's not too old, but it's old enough that I don't know a whole lot about it. And uh, you know, this is only being the second season that we're running it. We, uh, we'll find more things out, I'm sure, along the way, but... Yeah, so now you can see that our seeds and our fertilizer is going down roughly at the same... at the same rate. Kind of thought I was going to hit there. This field is, uh... Really got a lot of stuff out along the edge here. We're gonna have to get close, but not too close. This might be. This field might need some trimming back because I'm not even that close. I don't think I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get everything. Maybe eh, over there. Yeah, we got it all. Not gonna be fun to harvest, but. 
we're all the way up against now. There's a couple trees. It's uh, a lot of stuff we probably should trim back, and eventually we'll get there. Take uh, take the chainsaw around, trim everything back. Just been been a little lazy in the winter, as busy as we've been through the spring and summer. But this field here, yeah, all this stuff along the road, all these little bushy trees are just, uh, they just stick out just enough that you can't quite get past them without really paying attention. We're going to, uh, next winter, hopefully, we'll come through all these fields and just zip out some of the, uh, some of the stuff that's really growing out along the edges. We're going to have to try to stay, I didn't leave myself much of a, much room for error here in between these two fields, so... Should be all right as long as we pay attention. If I get to playing on my phone, like I do at times, I might roll off into what is soon to be our grass field. But for now, we just need to pay attention along this along this line. But I'm gonna throw you guys back into another time lapse. We're gonna hit this field. I'm hoping I got enough seed to get this one done without having to run back to the uh, farm too much. Try to get this one done, and then I will. Uh, I'll go hit the little one, and that should be should be it for planting corn.
All right, corn is done. We have all three fields planted. I'm just gonna zip back up here um, to the farm, top everything off, and uh, get the planter switched over to put some uh, grass in. And I think by the time I get all that done, it's probably gonna be a little later in the evening. It's already three o'clock, so I think the plan is going to be first thing tomorrow, April 2, we will get the grass planted, and then we'll zip our fertilizer spreader around. I think we're only going to have to hit this field. I think uh, the rest of them are good, so we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out, but I'm going to uh, at least double check them anyway. So we get that filled up this swapped over hoping I can hit it here I can all right so I'm just gonna pull this over to the shop door get it opened up and uh, it doesn't take much to switch it around, so I'll just do it right here. But I'm going to get all this flopped around and uh, call it a night. And I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. All right, good morning. Six, a little after 6 in the morning here on April 2. Uh, we do have some rain in the forecast this morning. Uh, around probably 8 o'clock. It's supposed to rain most of the day. So the plan is to try to get this grass field planted before the rain gets here. And that will that will at least wrap up all our planting. And uh, <clears throat> we won't have to worry about the rain. The rain will actually be a good thing at that point. It won't be slowing us up. And then the only other thing we have to do is, uh, after this grass is planted, is fertilize our grass fields, and I think just this cornfield, we might end up having to do the other two, but I'm not sure. So, we'll, uh, slide up here to the grass field real quick. This one's looking pretty good. We'll actually probably be able to bail that in May, I think. May, if not May, June for sure. And there's a car coming, so we're gonna have to wait on. Uh, we won't even be there yet. Should be turning. Yeah, we just gotta get up here and get in the field quick. Planter fired up, lower it down, and away we go. So yeah, we're going to knock this out. This will be our grass field probably for a very long time. And uh, should be able to get at least two cuttings off of our other one before... August, I think, is when we need to rip it out and put the weed in. So, I need to make sure I stay off of our cornfield. We don't want to get any grass over in that. Should be good here. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in when we're done.
Alright guys, the rain is here. We uh, did not get done. As you can see, probably about halfway. So, the rain is hurting us now. Um, we're going to have to head back to the farm. We were getting pretty low on seed. We were going to have to stop here soon anyway, but we're just going to zip through this way. Um, yeah, so that's probably going to be it for us until after lunch, depending on how much rain we get. Um, we're going to have to wait for the rain to stop. So I'll head back and uh, I'm going to get the uh, fertilizer spreader set up and ready to go, get it in the shop and uh, empty all the lime out of it. I'll bring you guys back in when the rain's done. Alright, everybody. The rain has stopped. We are uh, hopping back in the tractor. We're going to go get the rest of this grass field planted. Um, try to get that done. It's uh, got a good amount of rain, but I did just get back from the field. It seems dry enough that it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. Should be good. So, I'm just going to zip across here real quick. And, uh, I think we're going to be fine to get the rest of this field done. The fertilizer buggy is in the shop, it is ready to go. We got about half full of fertilizer, actually, all the dry fertilizer that we had in the in our bin. So, I guess I underestimated how much I was actually going to need. Might end up having to buy some more uh, for just for throughout throughout the year, especially after um, especially after we get the beans planted. But we should have enough here on the planter to get this field done. I'm hoping at least, uh, if not all of it, most of it shouldn't be much left if any but we're just going to try to knock this out here and uh, see how far we get but start it up drop it down and away we go <laughs> done with this grass field so we can get the planter back to the farm and I think we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the fertilizer spreader and I don't think I'm gonna have to hit this field because I think yeah we got enough we got enough nitrogen on this through the planter so I think we just have to hit uh, what we first planted in that first cornfield and 
our uh, our grass field that we've already had. So not too bad. Jump out here. Uh, we got one coming down the road here, but I'm hoping we can beat him there. It's going to be close. Trying to take out that sign. Yeah, we got it. Um, so yeah, I think we just need to hit this grass field here and our first little path around um, the cornfield that we made. I uh, don't think that we're going to have to put any nitrogen down on our beans, but if we do, I think we have enough for all of that. And then we're just going to be on to May after that. Once we get all this stuff taken care of, it'll just be on to May and not much after that. Um, other than taking care of our grass fields and trying to get everything uh, fertilized, taken care of until probably August, plant, uh, plant some wheat in August and from there I'm not not completely sure where we're going to go, so I'm going to park this here for now because we're going to have to pull that in the shop to get it flipped over for beans. But for now, we're going to get this out. Uh, you can see we got 5,344 liters of solid fertilizer on. That is all the fertilizer that we have. So we don't uh, we don't have anything else. That's all we got. But I think come in here. I actually can't tell. Is it doing anything? Yeah, it's doing something. I can't see it. I can't even. It's not even showing me on the map. Up oh, there it comes. The map didn't load quite, quite right, right off the bat. But hit this whole section up here, and then, like I said before, we're gonna have to hit a headlands for sure around the whole thing. I don't know if this is gonna do anything to our. Uh, spots that we already did we are eating through fertilizer right now like a lot of it <laughs> it's not slowing down at all we're gonna end up having to buy some more fertilizer is what we're gonna have to do I don't even know if we get this field done let alone our grass field on top of it Corn's more important than the grass is. We definitely want to get our corn fertilized so we can get as much yield out of this as possible. We're uh, dropping quickly, though. It's set on auto, so... I guess it's putting down what we need, but it's not showing the texture on the field to where we're putting it down, so I don't even know if it would stop once we get up to where it's already been done, but nonetheless, we need the fertilizer on the corn. We'll just put whatever we have left on the grass field. We got plenty of money. We can get some more dropped off and filled the maybe not fill the bin but we can get some more dropped off and put in the bin here. yeah because we've already used almost half what we had but 
I'm gonna get this finished up and I'm gonna hit the, fur the grass field and I'll bring you guys back in when we're done all right good morning uh, it is May 1 a little after 6 so uh, we got uh, 10,000 liters of solid fertilizer dropped off and put in our bin yesterday and after we got uh, finished fertilizing our cornfield which you can see has already started to spring up and our grass field we got the planter in and all switched over for beans so that is our first thing that we're going to get into today and that's trying to get our bean field planted uh, we're going to top off I'm going to top off the tractor with fuel, top off the seed and the fertilizer in the planter. Let's see, uh, get that fueled up. We're going to be down below a thousand liters here in the tank. But we don't use a whole lot of fuel. But we're going to get the seed filled up. box is open for the fertilizer here get that filled up and we are ready to put beans in the ground and then our planting for the year will be over this is a massive field though so it's gonna take us a little while um, guess I'll just start right here be pulled up planter on drop it down and off we go and we shouldn't use a whole lot of fertilizer if any it doesn't look like we're going to use any luckily beans don't need a whole lot of nitrogen but we are planting away so I'm going to probably hit two two possibly three headlands and uh, figure out what the best way to go about this field is we're gonna have to fill up seeds probably a few times but uh, I'm gonna crank some tunes on and I'll throw you guys in a time-lapse here and try to get this field done
All right, and that is it for planting season. Um, as you guys can probably see, we got some weeds coming up in our cornfields because uh, they didn't get plowed and they just got direct drilled. So I think what uh, I think what we're gonna have to do is call our neighbor across town and see if he would like to come spray them for us. Um, I think we actually have some herbicide in our bin. I'm just going to park this here for now. I believe we got some herbicide in here. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, we got 5,000 liters of herbicide in there. So, see if he wants to come spray, spray our cornfields for us and get that taken care of. And um, I think what we also have to do is... Uh, I need to go double check here. Just gonna hop in this for now. Haven't been in here in a while, so we're gonna take this for a ride. I want to go check our grass field because it might be close to being ready to harvest. So if it is, uh, don't run the corn down. Don't run the corn down. Try to stay in between the rows here. Yep. This thing is definitely squirrely. Especially once you get it up around 40 mile an hour. This one's got quite a bit of weeds in it as well. Yeah, this is definitely ready to harvest. So, we might get this mowed up this afternoon. But, I'll have to make a phone call to him and see if he wants to come spray or if we need to find somebody else that wants to do it. Or maybe just lease the sprayer from the shop and do it ourselves. So I'll get a hold of him. Uh, we'll take an early lunch here and hop back in and get some mowing done after after lunch. All right, got a quick lunch break over with. Uh, neighbor across the way is going to stop by tomorrow, and he is going to spray our uh, spray our herbicide on all our cornfields or at least two of our cornfields I don't think the one up on the hill being that was plowed is going to have many weeds but uh, he's going to spray everything that has weeds in it for now we're going to get our grass mowed down and see see if we have time the rest of the day uh, I think we're just gonna mow it today probably bail it up tomorrow is the plan but we'll get it at least mowed and uh, I think uh, after we get all this mowed I'm probably gonna call it an episode so I might uh, might end you guys with a time lapse and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I, I appreciate the subscriptions and all the likes and comments on the videos. I'm having a blast with this series so far. I love this map. And thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you next time.